All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and put the liquid spores into these bags. Now, I have two different types of spores. One of them is Amazonian, and the second is Mexican Dutch spores. So I have six bags, and I'm going to do three pounds of Amazonian and three pounds of Mexican Dutch. And I have already cleaned out my whole entire surface. I like to use these alcohol pads. You can also mix some water with some alcohol and then put it in a spray bottle or you can use Lysol. This is so easy and it smells great. So I like to use this stuff to clean the area. And then for my bags, I just like to use alcohol wipes. I also like to use alcohol wipes to wipe my fingers down. Um, it makes it just easier for me to just to throw these things away versus consuming a lot of these. So. I'm just going to go ahead and clean up all of the bags and then I'll see you guys when I'm done. Alright guys, so I take the alcohol wipes and I clean up the whole exterior of the bag and you want to get into every single little area and crevice of the bag. You want to make sure that you are not having any impurities on the exterior of the bag anything that can contaminate your spores and then result in uh, spores that are contaminated. Now you also want to name the bags if you have multiple spores that you're going to be working with and you want to put the inoculation or when you injected the spores into the bag and this can give you an idea of when they should be ready. Now the bags come compact because they're packed in a little box. So what you want to do is you want to break up each individual bag. Make sure you're able to get some oxygen in there. And when you're done with each bag, you also want to make sure that all the rye berries have returned to the bottom and that the rye berries are not fully compact. those are done. Now I have my spores. This is the Amazonian. As you can see, you can't see. They're all settled at the bottom there. So what you want to do is you want to shake these around. As you shake these around, they start spinning in here. Continue to shake. And I have brand new needles, but if you were trying to use an old needle, then you would have to burn the needle in order to sterilize it properly and have a less chance of contamination. So I'm gonna go ahead and do another uh, alcohol prep wipe. And I'm gonna use it specifically in the area where I plan on injecting, which is right here. And then I'm gonna cover it up with a piece of tape in some kind. So that's a little better. And actually this was pretty easy because I've actually already mixed this once before. But I'm gonna take three of my bags them over. Get one of my alcohol wipes. Scan. Just try to be as clean as possible with one of your needles. Up. 
paste the middle in and now you are ready to go now there's um, a lot of different options is how much you should put into it it's one of the things that i kind of uh, researched um, you should put enough for it to start growing and that could be uh, one cc or it could be uh, the whole thing if you wanted to to have a, a lot of spores in there and have it grow, have it grow quickly now i put one cc for i think it was a pound and a half my previous bags and it took about 25 to 30 days for them to um, start growing out and I probably have another probably another four days for it to be completely white as you can see in some of the uh, other garage where it's the whole bag is completely white I've uh, broken it up I've broken up the rye berries to make sure that everything within the bag is uh, grown out with uh, mushrooms so now we're gonna take this and inject each port with uh, some spores and I'm gonna do again one cc so this is just one into each one of the bags. And then I'm gonna place some tape over it in order to, to seal the port where I had injected. And that's it guys now you can add again a lot more cc's uh, you probably would want to actually add them in multiple locations so you probably want to inject like maybe some here and then some here on this side to see if you can get you know the whole thing around i'm probably going to get some grow probably on one side and then i'm going to have to break it off and see if i can get everything grown out so i'm going to do the exact same thing for the mexican dutch and then i'll show you guys what it looks like in a couple of weeks. guys so i am done injecting my spores into my bag. So I put actually one cc into the these bags that are the Amazonians and I put two into the Mexican Dutch. So we're gonna just let these uh, sit in a cool, uh, dark place. And then we're gonna come back a week from now and see how they've matured. Again, the Mexican Dutch is two cc's and the Amazonian is only one cc, so we'll see um, how long it really takes for both of them to colonize, and we'll see what we get next week. Hey, if you guys have any suggestions, any questions, or would like to see something different, um, please comment below, let me know, uh, and make sure to subscribe to see how these turn out in our model tub. Hey guys, well thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you have an idea now of what the process is like. Super simple, if you have any questions, make sure you comment below. And if you have any questions about what it looks like once it is grown out, make sure you watch the first video in this YouTube channel or go into my shorts and see what the bags look like before and after they are grown out. Make sure you comment below and I'll see you guys next time.